name is Keiko and I am back with you here at the Nelson Community Food Centre Kitchen and I'm a volunteer here as well as a monthly donor and cooking and growing food are some of my passions so I wanted to come and share some of my recipes with you and today it's uh, beets, we're talking about beets. And specifically I'm going to do with you a um, lovely roasted beet with uh, feta and dill in a little side dish salad kind of thing. So I have been roasting some beets in the oven. Um, basically you want to wash them, you want to just rub it a little bit in some oil and wrap it in some foil and then pop it into a 400 degree oven. And it takes a little bit of time, maybe about 50 or 60 minutes for those beets to be cooked. And what we're looking for, here I've got some, I did take it out of the oven a little while ago because they get they are hot when you take them out. So I am. What we've got here is a lovely roasted beet. He's got all of his skin on still, which is great because that helps to keep the moisture in him as he's cooking. So what I need to do now though is I need to remove the skin. So I'm gonna basically now if all goes according to plan. The skin should just rub right off. Get ready for your hands to turn very bright pink. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so, you know, and if things don't go according to plan, because that's how it goes sometimes, I'm gonna use my knife, my big old knife, and I'm just gonna peel. Yeah, that'll help me kind of get started here. I'm just gonna peel just the skin. We just want to, you know, and if you just kind of get under the edge, it should peel, pull away nicely so that you're not cutting too much of the actual beet away. Now roasting the beet's gonna give you a really nice, sweet, intensified beet flavor, which is awesome. So that's one. Where's another one? Ooh, it's getting fun. Oh, it's steaming hot. It's okay, I got iron fingers. Okay, I'm gonna move these off into my compost bowl. Look at my hands, beautiful. I have a wet cloth somewhere. Of course, not close by. Okay, so now I'm just going to chop my beets up. What a beauty. So I'm just gonna do a little dice here. That means cutting it into nice little cubes. Things that are nice bite size, not too small. And this last guy. Okay. So beets. I think I will just use this bowl here so we'll smaller. So now all I want to do, this is so easy, simple. We're just going to put our beets into our bowl and we're just going to give it a really simple dressing. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of oil, a little olive oil here, salt, pepper and some acid to complement the sweetness of the beets. We're going to use some balsamic vinegar. And I'm going to use some dill. Lovely fresh dill if you can have it. If you don't have fresh dill you can use dry. Oh man, fresh dill, I can't beat that. I'm gonna put my dill, I need lots of dill. Don't be shy with the dill. And feta. We're using goat feta. And I'm just gonna crumble that over. And then, pretty much it. And give it a little toss. Oh my, isn't that pretty? And we want to then just top it with some nice toasted sunflower seeds for that little bit of crunch, a little bit of nice fats. And the sunflower seeds, 
so easy. Just put it into a dry pan uh, and just toast it a little bit. Keep your eye on it so it doesn't go too fast and then it burns. And that's pretty much it. It's our lovely little roasted beet and feta with dill and sunflower seed uh, salad. And let's see what this tastes like. Perfect on this little plate. Mmm. Mmm. The beets are perfectly cooked, and they're really sweet and juicy still because they were cooked inside that foil, and they got nice contrast of the sunflower seeds and the creamy feta. Mm. Give it a try. See what you think. It's another recipe from the Nelson Community Food Center kitchen. If you want to see some more recipes, try some new stuff out. Check out our YouTube, YouTube channel and we'll see you next time.